Hey folks, I thought we'd have a quick look at sustainable living as this is something that often comes up in paper two or towards the end of paper two. Um, we're gonna start by drawing a really basic house structure. Don't try and overthink it, just pop a, a square box on your sheet. Um, and we need to add some kind of a big roof because we've got quite a few features that we can add to the roof. I know this isn't probably gonna look exactly like anybody's house actually does, but that's absolutely fine. It's just so that we can add in as many possible sustainable living features as we can. Um, so yeah, we'll bring, bring that section of the roof down to here. And we'll bring this one down. Um, we're gonna leave this bit of space because we'll pop a little electric car in there. Um, and then we'll get our nice big windows because a lot of sustainable buildings have lots of glass. Triple glazed, obviously, because it's gonna provide plenty of um, sunshine, but also be insulated, which is very important. So we've got our windows in place. Let's just put the window panes in. And then the next thing I want you to draw is the solar panels. You might have seen these around, lots of people have them on their homes nowadays. Uh, and really quite common actually, and they're brilliant. So they're called um, photovoltaic cells, and basically they do an amazing job of harnessing ultraviolet radiation and then converting it to electricity. They cost a fair bit to get started, you're looking probably around 10,000 pounds for a biggish home and from that you will be reaping the rewards straight away. So you'll be paying it off if you've got a lengthy time left on your mortgage. So let's call those solar panels and that's obviously renewable electricity and almost anyone can have these. You really just need a house with a roof they can even be sort of north or east facing. The other thing that you can have on your roof, and I'm just gonna draw some here, little plants. And again, you might have seen this, it's becoming much more common, is something called a green roof. Now, a green roof is um, basically normally made up of succulents. They are put in panels or trays and then attached to the roof. And they're brilliant. They basically are small plants and they keep your house cool in summer. Um, so basically they stop the building getting too hot. So they keep your home cool in summer. And then amazingly, they insulate it in the winter. So they do the opposite job. They keep it warm in winter. And obviously it's good, it's providing a small habitat, tiny little ecosystem, microclimate ecosystem if you like, insects and birds and things like that. So it's good, it's good for the planet. It's all good. Um, down here, we'll just keep this coming. We're gonna have a big, um, this is like a big water butt, okay? And this is rainwater collection. Now, again, you might have seen this, uh, people's drain pipes going into big plastic bins. This is amazing because what you have is you have like a little tap at the bottom and you can just pull off water there and use it to water your, uh, your plants, you know, your garden. It's really, really good, really useful. Obviously, all sustainable homes are recycling. So we could pop in a couple of recycling bins really amazing but I mean we all have those right we're all doing a good job with our recycling and then I guess what most people won't have is and again just draw kind of a box for this is something called a geothermal heat pump now these are becoming more and more popular they are really efficient they work brilliantly basically there is a pipe that goes down into the ground and then it comes back up, okay? And it sends basically cold water down and it's warm down there and basically the warm water comes back up and that's what they use to power uh, kind of like a boiler, basically keep the radiators warm, keep everything going. So it's called a geothermal heat pump. Geo means earth, thermal means heat. It's 
quite an easy one to remember that. So yeah, geothermal heat pump, amazing. Um, then we've got our front door. Key thing to remember is it needs to be weather tight. We can't have any gaps, any cold air getting in at all uh, in the winter because that's just gonna make the whole house less efficient. And in the house, I don't know why it's in the window. Let's imagine it's just inside. We've got our smart thermostat. That means that we're not overusing the energy that we're, we're using from the solar panels or the geothermal heat pump. We're keeping an eye on what we're using and adjusting it. We did say, although we haven't written it down, is that those windows uh, need to be triple glazed. And the reason for that is purely insulation. So it's keeping in all that warmth and not allowing it to escape out through the glass because uh, that would be really wasteful. Now, our lights, draw a couple of lights up there, need to be LEDs. LED lighting is far less um, wasteful, far more energy efficient than normal lights. Um, and the other thing with the windows just sorry, coming back to that, just sort of one more thing. If we can make them south facing, obviously that would mean the building would need to be south facing, but if they were south facing, they're gonna get more sunshine. Or sunshine all of the day. You're gonna barely need to heat your home at points of the year, just simply because of that sunshine coming in. Now, moving over here, we've got our roof insulation. Let's just write that, roof insulation. Now that'll be in the walls as well, but we'll just pop it in there for reducing, it reduces heat loss. Okay, it basically doesn't allow that lovely heat that you've got in the home to escape. So really, really important. Also, really, really great to do is to have vegetation, so trees and shrubbery and things around the building. They act like a barrier. So they basically uh, protect like the building from things like strong winds, harsh sun, anything like that. They're just a really good, um, basically thing to have around the house. So trees are great from extreme weather. Okay, and obviously that, that goes for like shrubs and things as well. Right, this is where my drawing skills are really gonna get tested and yours as well. On the side of the garage or and onto the side of the house, often out the front of people's houses these days, you might see electric charging points where they can plug in their electric cars. So let's have a go at drawing a car. Don't worry if it's not too good. Mine is really not that great, but it's hopefully it's kind of obviously a car at some point. We've we'll got a front window in as well. God, that is truly awful. Anyway, never mind. Here's our car. Here's our car with its little wire going in on the side. Okay. Maybe if I make the wheels a little bit darker, it'll help. Not very much. Never mind. In the screen. Yeah, it's terrible. Anyway, there we go. We've got our electric car. So. This house is pretty good. If you think about all the different factors it's got in there, it's doing an awful lot for the environment in helping it become a zero carbon home. So there you go.